Hi, welcome to 40 Fridays of Fundamental Science Experiments with Rohini. Have you ever had an X-ray photograph of your hand or your foot or any part of your body taken? It is a very important diagnostic tool, especially to diagnose bone malformations or bone fractures. But do you know who first came up with these X-rays and why they are called X-rays? It is William Roentgen who came up with the concept of X-rays or who proved the existence of X-rays. He was studying something called Crookes tube, which is a cathode ray tube with a cathode and an anode attached and the cathode rays pass through the uh, vacuum sealed glass tube and all that uh, similar to J.J. Thompson, what J.J. Thompson used. But then Roentgen wanted to see how far these cathode rays can pass and if they can penetrate glass. So what he did, he just took a, a piece of thick black cardboard and covered the tube at the end where the cathode rays um, supposedly pass through glass and then nine feet away he put a screen which was coated with platinum barium and upon uh, uh, giving high voltage the cathode rays emitted and then in spite of being blocked by a thick black cardboard the platinum barium screen uh, was stuck with something and it glowed it lit up. Ronjin reasoned that cathode rays probably did not have range enough to travel all the way and hit the platinum barium screen which was put nine foot away. So he said that some unknown invisible rays hit the screen and they made the screen glow. And because they were unknown, he called them X. Simple, the unknown X in algebra, like the X in algebra, he named them X-rays. And then he worked uh, meticulously on these rays for seven weeks. And in January 1896, he said that these X-rays can penetrate almost anything except metal and solid bones. They can even penetrate the soft tissues of the body. So if you want to take a picture of the bones, he said x-rays are the best source. And then he is even supposed to have photographed his wife's hand with the wedding ring on it. The bones of her hand showing the metal wedding ring. Because x-rays cannot penetrate bone and metal, they leave a photograph of the bone and the metal. After his, um, uh, you know, announcement in 1896, January, uh, that X-rays can penetrate any, almost any substance other than solid bone and metal, a photographer, Edwin Frost, is supposed to have photographed a patient's fracture of the bone for his brother, who was a local doctor. And as they say, after that, it's history. Thank you.